My name is Yoshihiko Yuki. Uh, I'm 37 years old Japanese guy who's running Japanese ramen restaurant called Takumi. And I've been here in Germany for uh, nine years. Takumi Munich established 2011. Around this town, nobody knows what is ramen. We had a sign, like a Japanese restaurant. So people just came into the shop and asked, uh, do you have sushi to go? Do you have a tempura things? We do only ramen stuff. So yeah, we had to say no. From 2013, ramen became kind of famous and people start to go takumi. And whenever people try ramen, they immediately realize it's a special. It's a far different from other type of noodles. They talk to their friends or uh, families and uh, our uh, ramen community getting bigger and bigger so quickly. What sort of changes did you have to implement after COVID-19? I had to change almost every single rules or uh, way to think about my business. Before, we had really many customers. We had a lot of people in front of a restaurant. They're making queue in front of a restaurant. Tiny restaurant, but we had a maximum 40 seats in a restaurant. And uh, we're running like a always super nice atmosphere. But uh, after COVID-19, that whole situation has been changed already. And uh, I don't think I can get them back again. I don't think I can get them back again. You know, due to keep these guidelines, we had to close some seats and we have to keep enough distance between tables and tables, customers and customers. After COVID-19, we had to change our policy that uh, we should not really do uh, ramen to go for uh, just keeping the quad noodle quality. If we don't do to go, then, you know, we are out of business. Obviously, our uh, daily sales is not that much anymore. I didn't want it to cut anybody in my team, but uh, still, still having a tough time. Could you name any positives that you took from the situation? Following sanitation rules is now very common, not only for our side, also for a customer side. Customer who comes into the restaurant, they need to use our alcohol bottle to clean up their hands. People are more uh, conscious about their hygiene now. How can sharing a meal help people get through hard times? There are something like you cannot really cook at home. For example, our ramen, uh, we need to have a professional cooking tools. Also, our broth for ramen is very special. We, had, we have to spend about eight to 10 hours for making these broth. And uh, this is something like unusual for cooking at home. But if you need some, some kind of a special meal like that, which you is not able to do at home, then you obviously need a restaurant. One more thing I could tell, why I am uh, so much focusing on my restaurant business is because of my experience since when I was a kid, I could really feel something special. For example, there are a meal or a taste or a smell. It reminds you a good memory. It's, it's kind of, how to say, link each other. Oh, I had a good time there with uh, that person or with my mom or my dad or something like that. I would say everybody has your own favorite restaurant or own favorite taste, favorite place you go. Sometimes, you know, obviously you need to go out and meet your friends and uh, talk something. <laughs> and uh, that makes fun a lot. Our restaurant business, we're providing some space for uh, fun. Space for uh, meeting your friends or uh, make your time a little bit more special. We need that. We need that.